Hey everybody, welcome into another breakout, cleanup, scraps type tutorial from tutvid.com. These kind of bust out tutorials that aren't really like my official tutorials, but it's just stuff I do in the process of making other tutorials that maybe you would find interesting. And if not, hey, there's the well, there's the back button, but there's also the little close button on the browser. Feel free to press it at any time. Um, but if you do enjoy it, hey, press the thumbs up button by all means. What we're going to talk about today is cutting out the special operations guy. He's on a relatively simple background, but we're going to do it without select and mask or refine edge. We're going to kind of do it a little bit manually ish but I'm going to show you kind of how I do it my thought process as I'm going through and doing it it's going to be a bunch of fun let's check it out so here we go we got spec ops guy uh, this is part of a bigger tutorial that I'll try to link into this tutorial on how we create kind of this daytime to nighttime starry space battle scene and he's going to be sort of the soldier in the scene but we need to get him off of this background and into that scene so here's how we do it let's let's start here with the uh, quick selection tool. So that's this tool right here. And I'm going to make my brush size a little bit larger. So I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to select the drop down menu here and increase the size to maybe like 50 pixels or so. And maybe a little bit larger actually. 65. Let's go 90. Yeah, let's go 90. All right, we're just going to go paint over his leg, grab the holster here, paint out over this stuff, the elbow pad, right? Great. Whoops, we got a little bit of the background there. Don't worry. And then I'm going to paint out over him here, grab the helmet. Good, good, good. Make sure we get all of his skin. Get his uh, his BDUs in full here. All right, great. We got to get the glove right here. It's going to say it. Make, making the quick selection here. I got a lot of stuff open in Photoshop, so it's going to take a second. There we go. So we made a very, very quick selection. Oh, let's get his shoulder and, and flag patch here. There we go. We got this little chunk here in the middle as well. Give my computer a second to catch up. There we go. All right, so we've got a very rough but very quick selection. So let's go ahead and refine this selection a little bit using Quick Select um, and then kind of some of these manual tools to just clean it up. And by manual tools, I basically mean the polygonal lasso tool. So we're going to grab Quick Selection here. I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key. Notice what it does. It's going to take it from adding to the selection to subtracting from the selection, right? I'm holding down my Option key on the Mac. That'd be Alt on the PC. And you can see, boom, it's going to cut out here between his crotch. We're going to come back in and get that little triangle with the... Uh, with the poly lasso tool. I'm going to get this little bit here underneath his arm. Great. And let's just make sure everything comes through. You know, we, we need it to be relatively clean. The selection doesn't at all need to be perfect. He's on a relatively dark background and we're transferring him to a reasonably dark background as well. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't need to be perfect uh, by a long shot. Let's get the edge of the holster here. Um, in fact, while we're spending all this time cutting this thing out, I want to just let you guys know, I'm selling a course over on tutfit.com. A link will appear up in the top corner there. It's all about how to retouch images. If you like what's happening here, you're going to love what goes on in that course. It's all kinds of stuff as far as retouching people and food and landscapes, all kinds of stuff. You're going to love it. If you pick up a copy, more importantly, I would say, is that you support what we do here at tutfit.com and allow us not only to give you those tutorials when you purchase them, but also all the free stuff here on the channel. So if you're looking to support the channel, picking up that course, the absolute best way to do that so we can keep creating valuable, great content that I believe in, hopefully content that you love, videos that are helpful, tutorials that are great, and much, much more that's coming that I'm excited about. But for now, let's get back to this tutorial. And I'll probably have to go over that with the polygonal lasso tool and really make sure it's perfect. Hold down my Alter Option key and paint away the bits out here over uh, the gray background. There we go. That looks good. And again, we'll probably touch that up with the polygonal lasso tool a little bit as well. Uh, we got bits on the edge of his helmet. We probably need to get all this stuff with the, uh, the polygonal lasso tool. I can get a little bit here with with the quick select tool, and that looks great. Uh, the the weapon itself, we can try getting this with the quick selection tool, but I have a feeling it's going to give us a little bit of hassle, but maybe not. It's not too bad. We're still going to have to go over it uh, to a large extent with the polygonal lasso tool. And then up here where it really gets dark, I'm not even going to try to get that with quick select because it's going to grab a huge amount of the background. So let's just kind of, let's leave it as it is and go over this with the polygonal lasso tool very, very quickly. Uh, it's actually, a, this is a relatively easy selection uh, job. So we're going to begin down here. I'm just going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. And the polygonal lasso tool really, um, if you create lots of little selections with it, you can create pretty precise selections. Hit, hold down the command or control key and click and it joins the edge of your selection uh, with, you know, whatever you're trying to select. I'm just going to come over the bottom of the image here and make sure that everything is fully selected. You can see there we go. We selected that. Let's knock out this little triangle. So we need to hold down the Alter Option key because we're subtracting from the selection, right? 
There we go. And then when you see that little circle, it means it's ready to be joined. Boom. We just cut that hole right there. Let's hold down. Well, we don't need to hold anything down because we're automatically adding to the selection. We need to add to the selection, add this little triangle. Hold down the Commander Control key and click to join. Up. Oh, looks like we should have subtracted, right? Hold down the Alter Option key. We need to subtract from the selection here. I'm not thinking clearly. There we go. Subtract from the selection. Great. I'm actually not worried about the bottom. I'm just thinking it's really not going to matter that much, this little line across the bottom because of the way we're compositing the image. And you can see I'm just really roughly going over this. This is not at all the way you'd be working with a fine-tuned composite. This is just a very fast and dirty way to create your selection. Right here, we could try using the quick selection tool. And I'm going to size it down, maybe make it like 10 or 15 pixels or so. Hold the Alter Option key and try to paint away the bluish gray background color. Let's see what, let's see what this does. It's not too bad, but I, I'm just I'm going to undo that. Let's just use the polygonal lasso tool here. And we're going to hold down the Alter Option key. And we're going to come through here and just go ahead and knock out all of these little bits that we need to knock out. You can see very quick, very easy. Great, 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 great. And again, if you're doing something with extreme precision, go through with the pen tool, use select and mask. This is just a nice, fast way to quickly be able to get acquainted with all of your edges. Um, and again, this is for kind of like a quick and dirty composite. And the composite's going to have nearly the same background color as uh, the current image does. So I'm really not concerned. And with the poly lasso tool, I can quickly go over and just grab the little details uh, that I need. So I can zoom out here a little bit. Uh, this would not be the method sanctioned by any official Adobe instructor, by the way. All right, so I'm going to subtract, hold down my Alter Option key. I'm going to subtract this little triangle there from the middle. Let's zoom in here on the flag. Let's make sure we're getting the entirety of the flag here in our selection. Oh, hit the backspace or delete key to get rid of an errantly placed strand of the uh, poly lasso tool. Hold down the Command or Control key. Make our little selection. Great. Everything looks good up here. See, so, yeah, I mean, you can just quickly go right around a little buckle like this. Boom. Great. There we go. We got it. This little bit hanging off here. Bam. Got it. This all looks good. Out around the helmet looks pretty good. We got to get this little bit here. Boom. Done deal. Let's get that. I'm just holding that command or control key right at the end to close off my selection and clicking once, and it just seals the selection right off beautifully. Great. Just trying to smooth out that edge a little bit. Cool. Let's go ahead and add this. This is the way I used to select virtually everything in Photoshop years and years and years ago. It can be fun. All right, we're going to go over this. But I'm mainly just showing you because... It's really not a bad way to select stuff in Photoshop. Sure, there are much more effective ways and arguably faster ways to select stuff in Photoshop, but sometimes it just feels good to go in there and just like know that you got the rough selection by hand and you don't have to worry about one of your edges being all messed up or something and you, you go and deliver a file and something you missed is just glaring as soon as the client sees it. Or sometimes you even see it. You come back a day later after not working on an image and you're like, whoa. How did I miss that? But indeed you did. And, I, and I've done that many times, let me tell you. All right, let's go up the firearm here. We've got to get the highlight here on the edge of the magazine. Great, 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 great. Bam. Working good. Let's go ahead and select this. Cool. And then I think with the, the heat shield here on the side of the barrel, I'm just going to select the whole bit like that because it kind of looks like one big part. I don't mind if I get a little bit of the background in there. Again, not not hyper concerned with being like super, uh, super accurate in terms of my selection here. Great. There we go. Voila. Let's get the edge here of this foregrip or whatever this is up here. I'm losing context of the uh, the weapon, so I'm not... Yeah, it looks like it's a foregrip. But there we go. Wonderful. See, I placed that extra eh, little point at the backspace or delete key just to sort of undo that. Backspace or delete key to undo that. Undid it a couple times there accidentally. All right, we've got this little kind of curve up here. So this is where it would have been nearly impossible to get this area with uh, with the quick selection tool. 
just because it's so dark, we kind of need to go in and find the edge manually, which is fine. Whoops. See that? We, we, we double-clicked and committed our change, which kind of messed us up. Let's go ahead and build out the selection really quickly. There we go. Right back to where we need to be. Let's go around the little grenade launcher here. Thing of beauty. Great. Let's go up the end of the muzzle. And again, we're going we're going fast because we're just we're rough cutting this sucker in. Voila. Great. We're gonna come out around right here. Looking good. You can see, I mean, it's just like it's tedious. This is why I usually keep this stuff out of the tutorials because it's, quite frankly, kind of boring. And who wants to watch it? I mean, it can, it's good to watch because you just see somebody doing it and you can kind of just sort of follow along. And if I was a great storyteller, man, I would be regaling you with, with tales of old. But it's difficult to tell stories and focus on on creating a selection at the same time. But we're nearly finished here. All right, great. Wonderful. Coming down the home stretch here. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think that's... Oh, we got to go down the side of his... Uh, jacket and whatnot. Oh, the side of the holster. That'll be the last thing we need to do is this little bit right here. Look at this. And I'm not going to worry about the little bit in the middle of the holster. That's fine. It'll kind of blend in. It'll almost look like it belongs. So I'm not terribly concerned with that. Right there, a little piece of his jacket. All right, cool. So we have uh, kind of a, a rough yet refined selection that we've created with a combination of quick mask and just the polygonal lasso tool, like a very primitive way, if you will, to create a selection in Photoshop. Now, if once you've created this honed in selection, you do want to go and use select the mask, by all means, we could do that. We could go like select, select the mask, or you could go refine edge, whatever you want. And uh, I'm going to drag in my dialog box here, and we could show it with like a red overlay. You can see we missed a couple areas. Well, we missed one area in particular. You grab the brush tool here and just paint over that to make sure you get that area of the selection. We'd increase the edge radius a little bit just to give the edges a little bit of uh, zip and blend and things like that. Looks like we missed a little area down here as well. Just go ahead and paint that in manually. We'll see what that looks like when uh, when the time comes. I think also I'll shift the edge inward 8 to 10%. So I'm going to 7%. That's probably good. I'm not going to decontaminate colors. I'm going to output the selection to a new layer with layer mask, and I'm going to hit OK. So just a quick uh, hop, skip, and a jump in Select and Mask. And let's just drag this over to our background and check to see what it looks like. Uh, we're down a bit low on the background here. Let's drag them up near the top. There we go. And if I size them down a little bit, yeah, I mean, we can see we, we did a pretty good job cutting them out and, you know, a little bit of tweaking, some color refinement, things like that. Things that are going to get finished in the the space battle convert day to nighttime scene tutorial. Things are going to get finished in that tutorial, which you can always check out. Uh, but it looks like we did a pretty good job cutting them out. So for creating a, a, a fairly basic, relatively easy selection in Photoshop, but in a very primitive way, just mixing quick select and the polygonal lasso tool, and then maybe if we want, going in to like select a mask and applying a little pass of uh, the, the smart radius or just even radius uh, edge correction to it and shifting that edge a little bit to, you know, try to clean up the edges a little bit it can really, really help. So for creating a selection, a basic selection for a composite, but a selection that has some parts to it, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.